Hi, this is me on the seventh day after skating, and I decided to put this clip in the beginning as a proper way to say hi without mask <laughs> because in the following video, my face will not be shown that much because of having to wear a mask. So this is my face. On the first day in the beginning, I could not move. <laughs> and even if I did move, I could not stay on the board for long. I never expected it to be easy, but it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. The beginning felt one-sided, like I was trying to be friends with someone who don't want to be my friend. <laughs> it required a lot of patience. This is Aboi, my sister who went with me on the first day. She helped me find my balance. I hold on to her and together we practiced for around 4 minutes. And after that, my balance improved a lot more. On my first day, I practiced for 1 hour and 30 minutes approximately. And yes, this is my first day. This is it. <laughs> On my second day, I wanted to learn how to turn around. And the only idea I have of turning is the one that I am trying to do here. That is lifting the head side of my board. But since the rope that I practiced on is not even, and since I was still not in control of my board, my board just rolls backward against my will. But after multiple practice and changing the side of the road, I could turn around. And for me, it's easier than the actual skating. <laughs> but towards the end of my second day, by God's grace, my skating improved a lot more. And I could turn around full 360 degree without falling off. I practiced for 1 hour and 30 minutes approximately again. And this is my second day. This is the third day. I usually go out for skating early in the morning while everyone is still asleep and there are no vehicles on the road. But on the third day, I went out for skating during daytime and there were a lot of vehicles. And so I switched place to my house upstairs. The space here in my house is limited, especially because we have lots of plants. But the space is good enough for me to just skate around on my board and get more comfortable with it. And that's what I did on the third day. At least once in my life, I really want to skate outside while it's snowing. And that is what I will be doing today, although it does not snow here in my city. Also, I put on some black nail polish which made me feel really cool and happy. I brought two bottles of snow spray with me and goal for today is to be happy, to have fun and to enjoy each process that I take. After skating for 30 minutes, I decided to sit down and enjoy the snow. You know, the ability to feel, to see, to look around, to chase, to dance around, to simply just enjoy the present moment is so expensive and I hope you take every advantage of being alive. Yes. After this, I went home and tried learning my first Oli trick, but I couldn't because a lot was going on at home, as you can see. I got my first clothing sponsor on my fifth day. This shirt that I'm wearing right here belongs to my sister. <laughs> and a huge shout out goes to her for letting me wear this after like asking for eight times. And also on the fifth day, a friend came along 
He is a famous skater here in India. A professional, I would say. From him, I learned that my feet positioning was incorrect all along, and I had to relearn that. After we part ways, I decided to skate for a bit more, and it was here that I had my first serious fall. Falling was a great progression for me. It made everything feel more real. After I fell, my fear to fall decreased a lot. On the sixth day, I decided to learn how to ollie. I started off with the basic. On the last day of my first week, everything improved so much. My posture, my balance, my confidence, everything. Also, I want to say that every day before I go out to practice, I always pray first so that I don't break any of my bones or break anyone's properties or cause severe injury to myself or those around me. So a huge shout out goes to God for protecting me and those around me. Also, if you have anything that you want to learn, it's never too late. Even if your progress is slow like mine, Slow progress is still a progress, always remember that. And I want to say thank you to Sam Alexander for letting me use his music for my background video. And thank you, yes you, so much for watching my video. And also I want to say thank you to myself for putting in the hard work, effort and always taking a good care of myself. And of course definitely I want to thank my water bottle for always being there for me. It has been such a great support system and thank you again for watching till the end i will be very happy if you dislike like comment share or subscribe but it's okay even if you don't do that because it's your life after all <laughs> okay before i complicate this bye see you all next time